are showing uh, our award-winning Curio technology at this show. We're showing three different aspects of the technology. We launched this technology in the form of a video format converter called the DE2710 one year ago. What we're showing here is that the technology has matured. It's being implemented in a wide variety of customer applications. We're showing the versatility through the demonstrations with different types of content from very low resolution iTunes all the way to pristine HD. And we're showing the versatility through the exciting extension to our 120 hertz Curio FRC. Here's an exciting example of the maturity and the versatility of the technology. Here it's shown implemented in a Meridian Iris HD video dock, which is upconverting iTunes video from a low resolution, low bitrate source to make a pristine 1080p image on this LCD TV. What you see here is an LCD TV as being launched by our first TV customer, Oneida, which is uh, based on a reference design that we announced at the show. Uh, this TV has uh, our technology optimized to make the best picture for the customer. Uh, what we try to do with our uh, working with the customer is to cater to both the uh, novice user as well as the advanced user. What you see here is an LG BH200 dual format blue laser player which is using our uh, DE2710 video format converter to convert video 1080i from the disc to, 10, to dazzling 1080p on the screen. Uh, in addition to an optimized mode, we work with the manufacturer to create options for all types of consumers. So if you look, what you see here is an example of the, of the OSD where we have a default QDO mode where we work with the manufacturer to produce the best possible picture so that the average consumer can take the product home, plug it in, and have a great picture from the, from the first minute they turn it on. On the other hand, we also want to cater to the advanced user who has uh, ideas on how they want to adjust the technology, what settings they like. So we have a user mode option. When you select the user mode, all of the different adjustments become available. Let me show you an example of an adjustment that an advanced user might make. You go to the color and decide to adjust. Let's say that the, the user prefers to have less red in the screen. So what you can see is he, can individual, he or she can individually adjust the color to bring down the red to their satisfaction. Uh, if they want to go back, all they have to do is hit the default and you're back to the default settings. So this is an example of how we work with the manufacturer so that we can help them serve the entire community of users, both the average user as well as the advanced user of video file. I'm very happy to be in CES for the first time, especially for the power management group. Uh, we want to show our new revolutionary uh, digital power factor corrections that will benefiting the consumer electronics that, you know, specifically like this laptop, uh, that will save a lot of energy and is very easy to do. We like to show you uh, the first applications for the consumer is this uh, laptop, uh, but the power for this laptop is these uh, bricks. This uh, new digital PFCs will save about 40 to 50 percent energy savings, and then it costs the consumer actually uh, no more to do this uh, energy savings. And the benefit is also a smaller size, lighter. And uh, the PFCs, uh, we can do this is because of these uh, uh, DSP technologies. Uh, we put so much uh, smartness in it. Uh, there's uh, uh, high level of computations. Uh, all of those can be done easily because of the DSPs. And with those high level computations, uh, we can maintain uh, the high performance that these laptop uh, required. But the key thing is how much energy is actually taken from the wall will be reduced significantly, like 40 to 50 percent. This is a standard, you know, typical uh, laptop computer. This laptop computer requires this adapter to keep it running, <laughs> okay? And I'm trying to show also identical laptop computers, except this one is powered with our own digital PFCs technologies. 
All right. Now, if this adapter needs energy from the wall, we want to show you in here, for the traditional adapter, it takes about 40 watts of power, taking from the wall. The, the same type of computers with digital PFC technology only takes 20 watts of power. You see there's a 20, 50% savings, and then the saving is not just by itself. It's also managing the noise into the line. The old technology is very noisy, very narrow peak, very high peaky. We do it in the nice sinusoidal, very low peaky manner. But this is only just the first uh, display, the first applications that we show in the CES. There are many other products coming up that will benefiting also in the environment, such as in the lighting. So all the lighting, which is also a huge power demands, and these applications, this technology will benefiting there as well. And also in any other products, especially you know DVD players, you see these flat screen TVs, any type of entertainment that you see in the house actually takes so much power. And unfortunately, none of them has this PFC technologies. So all the future will go into that direction. We're very excited actually to have this, uh, this place. And then uh, the, the, the next two, three years, you know, there's going to be a lot of more applications uh, in, in many other technologies, you know, in the energy savings, you know, like I said earlier, you know, in the lighting and area. This, uh, the, the business, uh, the, the interest levels from uh, all the consumers level, from the financial level, from the OEM level, it's been, it's been superb. Uh, many people are actually surprised that they, they didn't realize this actually takes this much power. So, and you know, of course, uh, we 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 will uh, do more. You know, you will hear more about you know more in the entertainment area. Uh, it's it's a make big impact to us and and to the entire world.